In Silver Spring, Maryland, David, you're on the air. Go ahead, please. Hi, uh, Kojo and uh, Charlie. Um, this is Dave Ruck. I directed that documentary, I Want to Be an Astronaut, and you were at my uh, screening for the American Astronautical Society 60th anniversary. I, I hope Great. you remember me. <laughs> it was awesome, David. I remember you very well, and I, I remember telling you that night how, how impressed I was with the documentary. It was uh, it was very well done. A lot of people were worried because it uh, started off kind of a bummer, but, uh, but it ended up as a great story. Well, I, I told people that what I liked about it was the fact that it, it showed to young people who saw it the fact that, you know, failure is something that we encounter when we seek to do big things. And, and n n such was the case with your primary character where he, uh, he had a goal in life and he finally realized it, but, but he had to have some failures along the way. Well, he clearly Absolutely. remembers it. David, do you got a question? Well, yeah, I, uh, well, uh, you know, first I want to congratulate NASA and I want to congratulate all of NASA's partners. And I really want to, you know, congratulate the, really the American people uh, because this is such a huge, next big step for us and and we should take ownership of that and what i would love for charlie to elaborate on is kind of the untold story of the over 200 companies and i want to say 44 or 47 states they're actually taking part in the orion and the sls project a lot of people seem to think and i and i was one of these people that you know these vehicles are made by nasa and no, <laughs> that's true. That's yeah. that not true. And and I really, yeah. you know, so many people say like, hey, well, why is it, you know, that that's money going, you know, that the government spending or whatever. But those are private jobs, a lot of them, yeah. from private companies. Well, Charlie Bowman, talk about the collaborative effort this state. Sure, I, and, and and David, I appreciate the question. You know, it. it um, I just did some research since last Saturday was Small Business Saturday, and uh, I happened to, to to realize that one of the companies that, that actually has done the assembly of of Orion down here at the Kennedy Space Center is a small business. But in addition to that one, uh, there are a number of small businesses uh, that have played a major role in the in the design, development, and and, um, and assembly of Orion. Um, you know, I learned that Lockheed Martin is is our largest um, hirer, if you will, or contractor for small business contracts. And in fact, uh, they have more small businesses on the Orion contract uh, than they do major, you know, major companies from the U.S. So uh, critically important that we engage with small businesses around the country because that, I think most people realize that is where jobs are created. So um, NASA has not built a spacecraft, uh, not a major spacecraft ever. You know, it's always been collaboration with American industry. If you go all the way back to Mercury, Gemini, Apollo started with Rockwell Corporation, which grew into now Boeing. Uh, but it's always been a NASA industry collaboration, and, and people should not forget that. And and not a single dime of the American taxpayer's money has gone into space. It's all gone into paying for, for workers and hardware that's produced right down here on Earth. And the majority of that uh, is going today uh, into a lot of small businesses. David, thank you very much for your call. Our guest is Charles Bolden, the administrator of NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. At what